Hi uh, guys, Fuzzy here, welcome to another Minecraft video. As you can see, we've finished our gate, uh, added a tower at the top, just put some fine touches on the stairs, and lit it up and everything like that. Um, made the entrance a bit more inviting. This is meant to be the only way in to the castle. Got a couple of guard towers in here, and then the the floor, the area, entering the uh, kingdom, really. Just done the mosaic floor like I was saying about, took me a bit of time, I just I didn't think it'd be that interesting to watch. Um, I've got to make a quick apology, I accidentally deleted the footage of me and Danny going into the mineshaft. Um, we kitted up, did an amazing slaughter of all these cows in here and all the pigs and everything, we went down fully prepared. We, and we came out, both of us, with all our bags lots full of valuable materials. Um, we got so many stacks of iron, coal, and gold. We weren't so lucky on diamond, in fact we only got three. But again, I'm really sorry about that, I accidentally deleted it. I know you were really looking forward to seeing uh, a video of us going in there. Um, I'll try and not be as clumsy next time. Um, in this area, we're pretty much finished. We're going to be moving, expanding on into the back over here, uh, clearing out some of the trees, making this more usable farmland because this area is meant to be for the peons, the workers of the kingdom. We'll be going in to that area over there, uh, creating like a vault because um, I'll come across that later. We'll be making more posh houses, you know, Victorian style houses, uh, proper paths and everything like that. I hope it turns really well. Uh, we'll obviously be expanding the wall as we go around the outside of the kingdom. But that brings us on to some great news. The reason I'm building this vault is um, because me and Danny have made the server public. Um, at some point we're going to be letting you guys come along and play alongside on the server. Um, obviously we need to protect the stuff that we've got so far so in the vault um, only me and Danny will be able to take things from there so we'll be putting our more valuable resources in there um, we've also created a protection mod so within a certain area of our kingdom uh, blocks aren't destroyable and aren't um, placeable within this area apart from me and Danny so it just it protects the hard work that me and him have put in and it stops griefers just coming along and getting kicks out of silly little things so hopefully if this all works really well I've got a great server for you guys to come along and play with us on and I do look forward to it anyhow we'll get right into it Okay guys, as part of the plan of upgrading the next area, I want to collect the leaves from these trees. I recently learned that you can use the shears and you can collect the leaves from them, so I'm kind of going to use them as bushes, make the gardens and the paths a bit more attractive in that area. Um, I mean, I want to get rid of these trees anyway because we're flattening this area for farmland, a bit more farmland anyway. There's a few things that we need to be collecting such as um, what, were, what was I after again? I don't know. Paper. So sugar cane. Yeah. Um, I want to have some bookshelves readily available for us. Okay, so I think I've got plenty of leaves there. I mean Danny's already been starting on the wall. I think he ran out of stone a bit ago. Yep, just going to get rid of all the wood, um, because also I believe using whole wood looks really good on some of the Victorian style houses. So we, again, we're going to need our most valuable resource, which is wood. Um, and I hope I can get rid of this real quick. And that's what the result is now, guys. Um, what we've done is 
we've created a lake coming from the ocean out there, coming all the way in. It goes through the wall at the back. Um, and it comes onto this area here. Um, you know, I was telling you about wanting to have a farm. Well, I'm, I plan on making this land. Um, just farmland, really. You know, some of it will be just for decoration, but the reason we've got this lake flowing in here now this is um, part of our automatic farming tool. Uh, what I plan on doing is you can come up here and plant your seeds and everything like that with the water shut off. And then um, I'm going to have a button here, you press it, um, some redstone goes all the way up into a piston in there, moves some blocks and you know it will stop or open up the water respectively. So. That's my plan. This is just a little bit of a upgraded kind of farm version. We found some slime in a dungeon crawl, I think. It's actually in one that we recorded. Um, so we've got some sticky pistons. Oh, Danny's making them now. Actually, these bits of wood in the floor here are just markers for where we need to have the uh, blocks for the pistons. And we've got like an underground maintenance bit here. Again, the markers here. Uh, we'll have the pistons sorted out. Yeah, um, Danny will be sorting out most of that because he's really clever with stuff like that. I'm quite pants. Um, so we'll see how it goes on. But that's what's happened in the time we've been away. Um, obviously we'd leveled out all this area like I told you I was going to do. Um, changed the landscape a little bit so it fitted a bit better with this farm. I might change this bit up here for some um, farm area and obviously the walls come down a little bit. There's creepers and stuff spawning in there and there's one coming after me now. Um, but, oh. oh. Yeah, um, but yeah, we need to finish off the lighting and the wall there. That's just a basic construction. Okay, so that's what we've done so far. And we're back. Um, we finished this. A lot of Danny's blood, sweat and tears went into this. I just really cheered him on. Um, but how it works is we've got piston system working up there. We pull this lever. Some water will come flowing out all the way up to here. We just stand here and collect the wheat, really. Um, then up the top here, we've got a a little farm going on uh, with some sugar cane that I want to use for some books. Oh, there's a creeper in my courtyard. Great. Um, but yeah, so this is the start of this bit of the farm. Just a little chest there for collecting everything. And that's that part of the project done, so... Thanks for watching guys, let me know in the comments if you want to see this working in action. Obviously I can't use it now but we'll show it later. So let us know what you think and uh, see you next episode.